Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Lara Valley. Last video I will show you how to show exam timetable in a teacher side. In this video I will show exam timetable in a parent side because parent have some son so he can see it is a timetable. So let's start this video. So I log in as a one parent. So let's copy this parent name. It means parent email and he's a password one two three four five six. I log out and I log in as a this parents for five six. Okay, now we need to go inside my students. So this is the student means his son, his daughter, whatever. And here we can make like another button like a class means here we can show another button for the exam timetable. So for this student, what is the exam timetable? He click on, so open the new pages and new pages inside he can see it. Okay, this is the my son, my daughter, he is a exam timetable. Also he can see it like here. Also he can see it in this one. So let's open the code. Just go to resources. Inside you need to go views. Inside you need to go uh, my students. So you need to go with the parents. Where is the parents? Yes. And after you click on the my students. So let's loading. So let's go down and some zoom out so it's a clear I can see it. Okay, now I will click copy and I paste and here I will change to name exam timetable. And here I also change like my students exam timetable. Okay, let's go back again. Refresh the page so you can see it like a new menu here exam timetable let's make a proper so it look like better we can make like a styles weights like 200 weights let's go back again and refresh the page okay still need more size so just make like a 300 because i think future need to here more menu so like 300 is good so you can see one is the subject subject i can make like these different success Let's go back again, refresh the page. I think spelling is fixed. Okay, let's refresh now again. So you can subject is a different color and exam timetable is a different color. Okay, now I'm working with the exam timetable. So a student inside, this is the student ID again, so I will show you the exam timetable. I click on the exam timetables. So open the new pages, but this route not found. So let's create these routes. So just go to routes. Instead, go to web.php, just search like uh, parents, my student, and just copy and put like a uh, exam timetables. And here is a we need also student, and here you can change this is the student subject controller to like uh, our controller. So, what is the our control examination controller? And here also you can type like a uh, examination controller, my exam timetable parents parent my exam timetables so let's go to examination controller you can go app http inside controller you can see it here examination controller just go down and here you need to create a new function parent examination controller here you can make like one comment parent size so we suppose anybody can understand okay this is the code for parent size and here you can also one argument found student id because we have already passed here you can see it here like here and this argument we have passed inside a get method inside you can see it here like a routes get my ex students exam timetable student id okay so i think it's clear now just go back again refresh the page so you can see it let's open the database so suppose i need to show anything inside database so it's good so now we need to go just up and copy all the student code so this is the student course okay so i just copy and i paste here and here we need to pass for the student so we have already get student id just you can create a new get a student is equal to users get single and we need to pass this student id so this student id again we found the class so just you can pass here class id so we get the class id 
and also we get the exam scheduling for this class id and this is the class id against we get the all the data here and here we can change like exam timetable and we can change to here parent my exam timetable means otherwise you can make like exam timetable so it look like better because this is like not mine it's the only exam timetables so just go to parents inside and create a new file otherwise you can use my because we have always use my you can see it other files create a new files and save okay now just go to student sites again and copy this file my exam timetable and paste it here and here you can just change to my to exam timetables okay let's back again refresh the page so 100% everything work because we have just passed the one student id student id against we have get the class id any error generated so we can fix out so one error generated users not found so let's declare the above users so just go up and we need to declare here users app models users so let's go back again down for the code and refresh the page so working very well exam time table first terms we need to also show here student name so let's pass this get student inside one data get students dollar get students and go to my exam time tables for the students and here we need to make a like a color bracket and here we can show student name name and also we can show last name so look like better okay and here you can show last name so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a student name student 1 so let's make a like a color difference so look like a better spam spam style color is equal to blue so you can see it like exam time table showing for this student suppose i go to student another students so just go to my students and click on the another student i open new tabs So new tab inside you can see it like another student is a exam time tables. You can see but no any exam time table. This reason not showing. Suppose this student is there. Let's go and check. Also this student is not there, so not showing. So suppose this student is there, so it's showing. Okay. So what I did, I can explain again. First I would did, I would get the student ID. Student ID against I would get data inside user table. So let's go to user tables. and here you can see it like we have created another function like get single get single means self self means users means user class name and here we get the first row first row inside i have get the get student all the records and this is the students have a class id so we have pass here class id and class id against i have get the all the exams so go to exam scheduling and here you can see it like a get exam so we have made a group by and we can get all the exam for this class okay And after I get the class ID means the exam ID, so exam ID against I will get the exam timetables. So exam scheduling inside we have passed like a class exam ID and we have also passed like a class ID. So you can get it here, like a subjects dot subjects. So we can get the subject name, what subject there inside this class, and also you can see it like exam ID to exam ID and class ID to class ID because we have passed here two parameter inside exam scheduling. And so we have get the data after I. all the data making looping and also i have create a array for result first i have store inside a data e mean data e means exam data exam inside i have store name so here name after i create another array for the this results first this is the name result for this array data e okay and data s array means a bottom bottom one so you can see it here and after all the data i pass in said result and result against i will store data in a get record let's make a dd and i can show you how to work results okay so you can see it like here you can see it like error how to create the before the two error created so one error means is like a first terms 2023 to 24 and here you can see it inside two subject there so and also here you can go to inside so first term 2022 to 2023 so you can see it here seven subject mean five six subject there zero to started 
okay so this is the looping wise showing like this is the data showing inside a list let's make a remove the dd one minute add something else and i open this link to another page so i can show you so you can see it like a here's a two record showing you see like this is the two record showing like first time exam here you can showing and also same thing we have did bottom one you can see it here and here showing this seven array means the six array so six subjects array you can showing here and here you can see like start time end time and we have make it like that format this reason showing look like better you can see it like a l means you can get the whatever day here there 29 so what is the saturday so saturday you can get sunday to sunday get means a date convert automatic php and here we have convert to date month by and here also we have convert like a am pm inside and after we show room number full mark and passing mark so he's a parent no okay my student is a like this exam and he's a account me student one he's the daughter otherwise son whatever name he can say here and he means whatever name he can add he can see it like and after he can see it like a exam timetables i hope do you want to see everything step by step i have explained before we have already done code this is and i will just copy paste code inside student side and next video i will make like a full calendar so full calendar inside you can see it like what's the exam and after i can try to make it like a subject inside you can see it like a my class timetable so inside full calendar inside also you can see it like a my class timetable so this task we can start using the like a student side after student two we can do is a parent side so parent also know and student also know and in this video i will finish and next video i can start like a full calendar i hope do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching